Here's how to effectively import a Storyboard Pro animatic into DaVinci Resolve's free edition. Once in Resolve, I'll refine the timing, add transitions, and fine-tune the audio to give the animatic a professional look. With adjusting a few import settings, you can use this free program not to only improve your animatic, but also edit your high-quality film for your next animated masterpiece. Stay tuned for a bonus feature in which I'll go over on how you can add that extra wow factor to your final animation footage. Hey, it's Rodrigo Amador, storyboard artist and producer, always on the hunt for new storytelling techniques and tools. If you're an industry pro or an aspiring animation creator looking for a low-cost editing solution, DaVinci Resolve's free edition is the way to go. Here are the steps to successfully import a Storyboard Pro animatic into DaVinci Resolve. First up, I'll create a dedicated media folder, then open Storyboard Pro. I'll name the AAF file, then set some nifty options like maintaining image size, rendering panels, and video clips. Afterwards, with a few clicks, I'll export the project for smooth integration. After the files are done exporting, I'll switch over to DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. Then after a few adjustments, I'll make sure the project settings are optimized, setting the timeline resolution and frame rate to 24 frames per second. Lastly, I'll make a few tweaks in the color management section. Don't worry about remembering all the details. I'll have everything listed in the description for easy reference. In DaVinci's media section, I'll keep things organized by creating a new media bin. Now, here's a pro tip. Always import your media before the AAF file for smooth linking. If you skip this step, the media will be offline and can't be linked once it's in the timeline. After the media is in place, it's as simple as double-clicking on the bin, heading to the file, import, import timeline, and selecting the AAF file. A quick tweak to the timeline name and settings, and we're ready to dive into the editing. So there you have it, the Storyboard Pro animatic in DaVinci Resolve with camera movements, proper framing, and panel timing. If you're enjoying the video so far, let me know with a thumbs up. That way I know you're enjoying the content and encourages me to keep making more like it. Now I can further adjust the panel trims, maybe add a transition or two, and experiment with audio levels. Adjusting the clip timing is very similar to other editing techniques. In this scene, I wasn't really happy with the timing, so I went in and adjusted the cut points by using the selection mode until I was happy with the results. If you wish, you can customize your keyboard shortcuts to Premiere, Final Cut, or Meter Composer for a smoother transition, but I'll stick with the Resolve defaults for this video. If you need to refine the camera move or add a new one, you can select the panels of a scene and create a subclip. By creating a subclip, all changes are applied to all panels at once. To add a slight truck into this scene, I added keyframes to the zoom and position properties. I increased the zoom value, then collapsed the layer to see the keyframes and applied easing for a smoother effect. Sup? Transitions are also easy to add. If your playhead is sitting between two panels, you can drag and drop the transition over the cut point, or simply double-click the transition to apply it. I've prepped some sound effects ahead of time to make this piece stand out. I just simply drag them into this new track and make any adjustments I need. I added some running sound effects to these scenes by inserting and cutting the new audio files to match the action. Now that I'm satisfied with the animatic, I'll head over to the Deliver tab to export the movie file. There are several presets to pick from, but for this example, I'll go with the H.265 1080p master option. I'll leave the other options as they are, label the file, and specify a render location. Next, I'll select Add to Render Queue. Once it's in the queue, I'll select Render All. Now that I exported the movie file, I can preview the results, make further adjustments, or better yet, drop in my final animation scenes. Remember the bonus feature from the beginning of the video on how to level up the footage? Well, here's how I plan on doing that. I'll import the finished animation matching the sample scenes. Then I'll add some fast color grading and titles before exporting a high resolution movie file. After importing the scenes, I'll double click each one and move the video section to the layer above the animatic panel. To achieve a more professional look, I'll adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, and white balance. For this scene, I thought it needed more depth, so I created a mask around the console and put a vignette around the character to make the contrast stand out using the Power Window Grading tool. If I'm loving a particular look, I can export a still to the Power Grading area and apply the same look by right-clicking and applying the grade. Now I'm going to add a title by using DaVinci's Text Plus feature. I'll change the title and proceed to the Text Plus settings within the Inspector panel. Here I can adjust the color and add an outline and apply a drop shadow. To make it pop even more, I'll even add a slight glow effect. Before I can export the high-res footage, I'll need to increase the project's resolution. Once I've labeled the file and specified the render location, I'll add it to the render queue and click Render All. And here's the finished movie with all the new changes. With a few simple modifications, you can elevate your footage from a flat, boring look to a rich and appealing result. 
If you wish to access additional features, DaVinci Resolve offers the Studio version for $295. One of these cool features is the Studio Filmmaker effect with fully customizable settings for whatever you're looking for. Did I get your wheels turning? Maybe nudging you to try this out for yourself? Feel free to share your experience in the comments. Did you discover a nice trick I missed? I'd love to hear it. As always, thank you for watching. Oh, and if you're interested in visual storytelling, I'm working on a multi-part series covering the process, from scripting all the way to finished animatic. Until next time, stay curious and never stop experimenting. See you soon!